my truck is vibrating at like 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour to the point where you feel like the wheel's gonna shake off. So it's pretty, uh, pretty vital right now. Is it high enough? I don't think so. There's still. Oh, it probably needs to go up a little bit higher. Yeah. Suspension sags and shit. Yikes. Probably they got those extended struts too. Go way up. This thing starts to slip off this thing if you go too high. I can't go too much. That should be good. Oh, wait, no, a little bit more. It's about more so I go right now. Okay, yeah, that should be alright. Your side was lower than mine. Well, either way, we're just doing that side right now. Watch your head. I'm gonna let it go. Jesus. Why is it not holding? Can you get it off yet? Or it still need to go higher? I mean, it'll come off. Okay, let's take it off and we'll just have to raise it up to... Come look at this. Is all that supposed to be moving in there like that? Look how bad that is. Hmm. Is it good enough to come off or do I need to... I mean, that's just gonna I didn't even off. drop it. No, I'm talking about the, the jack. Wait a minute, I'm gonna let it down. Okay. I haven't even let it down yet, I don't think. Okay, it is off. Up should be loose. my sneaky boy. these little things well the bearing shot out <laughs> nice <gasps> doesn't look that bad could be that races look good oh if you look on this side it looks pretty Crap. bad on this side doesn't look very greased up either Get these little pieces out. Let's keep everything together so we don't lose track of anything. What else fell out? Yeah, because I don't think this thing's supposed to have that much motion on the inside like that. 
Oh, yeah. It's completely separated. That? Yeah. Last time I got it to release without taking this off. Okay. So I'll pull these pins out. Where's my little... I'm trying to see if I can just loosen these without actually pulling them all the way up. These rods. Right. Doesn't look like it. Maybe there's one more hidden bolt in the back. Work at it with something like this too. Slip up under here. Work your way around. This is the inner bearing. First, I didn't think it was gonna come loose.
and then come back. This side. Let me show you guys how bad this one is. Look, this thing's floating. This bearing was floating in here. I didn't do anything, so. Where thing is completely shot. That's, that's way too much play. <laughs> this was a safety hazard. Was a, this is not a modification. This is not an upgrade. This is not, I want to be faster, stronger. This is a safety hazard, guys. So yeah, once you get up under it, you can pop it and it'll fly. Just make sure your friends have sunglasses on. <laughs> so, pop. There's a seal. And this is a 2000, so we don't know this has been open in 20, 20 years, 20, 22 years, something like that. So that just gracefully glided out. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, complete a lot of movement right here inside. So, you know, see that movement, guys? That's your tire and wheels and suspension all riding on that. So we're gonna clean this out and see if we can reuse the uh, races. Is what they call them. Yeah, they look good. It's a lot of gunk in here, though. Someone did. Did a good job gunking it up, though, I'll say that. I'm gliding in there. Yes. Trying the green brake clean this time. <clears throat> this is the uh, more compliant one. The other one, I'm not sure. Doesn't say 50 state. So, cover your eyes. All right, guys, we are uh, just trying to put things back together. Gonna definitely have to put some grease on it. So the set 11, I believe, is going to be the inner bearing. These are the outer bearing. It should only be one way it goes in, so. We'll be back once we get to that point. We got the new seal as well. Up. I'm gonna put just a little here on the end before I hammer it down. Alright. Hopefully, this presses in there nice. Yeah, I'm working it around, guys. Work it around. Be 
pressed. Pressed as a penny. Right. That's the inner. Back once we get that one greased up. Be careful when uh, reinstalling the wheel bearing, it's going to want to fall out in the front, so make sure you hold it and you're going to have to spin it around to get it to seat properly. And then once it kind of pushes itself in and goes back enough on the little rod there where you can see all that, then get it finger tight and then proceed to the torque specs. I believe it was like. 12 foot pounds and then something about 30 30 foot pounds while you're spinning it i'll get back to that once i uh get my torque wrench all right we're on the second side the other one's put back together um yeah make sure you follow the steps for torquing it down i'll maybe leave a little description below about that um, where you can see some of the other videos about that specific part, but you're going to want to follow those torque specs as you um, seat your new bearings. But you want to at least clean out with brake cleaner and paper towels and, or shop towels so where you can see nice shiny races inside. I don't think I need to reuse, I mean I think I can reuse these because uh, they're pretty good. If you need to replace them, you'd have to pull these out. Or if they're cracked, you gotta extract them out and then um, press them in. That's another adventure for another time. But on this one, it should be okay. There's a spindle. We're gonna go ahead and finish this up.